mean, you don't even have to go to therapy. You can take a step back from your workout, from your lift, from whatever, and if your first thought isn't, I'm really proud of what I accomplished, instead of that first thought is, fuck, I didn't hit that lift. I almost had it. I missed that ring muscle up. I got no wrapped, which is what I'm seeing a lot. Um, I'm Anna Clendenning. I am a recording artist signed to Atlantic Records. I'm also a songwriter and somehow a crazy cult member of CrossFit. <laughs> Technically, I took my first class in 2015, but I cried, took a month off, and then kind of got back into it. We have a new coach at the gym and he's like, hey, take one second while we're all like dying. I'm like flipping my shoes off. Like that's the initial thing. Take your shoes off, cool your, cool your body down. Yeah. But he's like, you did a lot of things today and your first reaction is gonna go, how could I have done better? But it needs to be, what did I do that was amazing? Because not everybody works out. And, and, and that could be said for doing anything. I think, especially in a setting like this, being so competitive, we are so naturally drawn. And I think even just as humans, because even in my work, I'm so naturally drawn to say, how could I do better? How could have this song done better? How could I have sold more tickets? It's, well, how could I have lifted more weight? How could I have run a little bit faster? The conversation needs to be pushed more, especially in the CrossFit community, as it becomes more of a extremely well-known competitive sport, and these athletes are just surpassing what they could have done even five years ago. It needs to be, what's one thing that you are just so proud that you did out there? Who cares that you got time capped? Who cares that you finished behind uh, Danny Spiegel, who, who, who cares? What did you do that you were proud of? Yeah. Because it is so easy to cling to the negative and it's so easy, That's, that translates to anything in our life. What could I have done better? It's, what did I do that was amazing? We so quickly want to move to become better people, which is so incredible. Like I, I have a song I wrote and produced by myself in my garage and it went gold, it's going platinum this year. The plaque is on my floor in plastic because I'm like, what song can I get next? any kind of performance, being out in front of somebody, it's life-sucking. Because you're giving your all, you're in front of all these people, you're expected to perform at your peak. Even at the gym, you, you want to perform at your peak and you've got your peers watching you, me on stage, expecting to put on a show and be my most authentic self. And then when you're done, all you can think of is how you messed up and you come down from that high, you know, the lights, the energy, the people, and you sit with yourself and you're like, fuck, I want to cry. It's just this wave where like someone has like just sat their baggage on you and you're just like, it's hard, you cry. And you just harp on all that negative shit, but in reality, me after a show, look at all those people I touched. Some of those people might have never known me and leaving have felt some sense of peace because of the message that I speak on. I think finding a way to start that conversation, and it sounds super cliche. Tell yourself one thing you get today that you're proud of, but when you get into that habit, especially the, the new coach at my gym, I was like, it just clicks one day, you're like, holy shit, I'm super proud that I'm here. We get so caught up in the fact that I could have done better, but it's like, look at all these amazing things that I've done. It, it, and it has to come from me to tell myself, yeah. and it has to come from you to tell yourself, I'm actually really proud that I hit a 235 pound snatch. Someone else, somewhere else did 340, but I'm not that person. Yeah. I can't hit 235. So for me, I would be ecstatic. And it's really kind of keeping yourself in the moment, in the present moment, and in a positive moment. When I first started therapy in, in any capacity, they're like, tell me one good thing about today. I'm like, this is stupid. I woke up, I'm like, okay. But you start doing that shit, and it changes your mind. It's like, it's fake until you make it. 21 days to make a rare habit. It's just cool. It shows you what the human body can do, and it shows you what a strong community, community can do. And that's probably the coolest part. It's beautiful. I know I sound so cliche and like, ah, uh, but it is really beautiful to see.